Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you are enjoying uh, all my videos and hope you are doing well. So in this video, we'll go and see how we can import a uh, custom uh, exploit to a Meta exploit database in a Kali Linux. And if you can write your own exploit, uh, and that will be good. And if you don't know uh, how to write an exploit, uh, here we can go to exploit DB and you can search for a new release of exploit. So we can see here two uh, new release of exploit over here. One is uh, D-Link and one is for Firefox. So what we'll do is we'll try to import this uh, exploit to our uh, Kali Linux Meta Exploit database. So here is the uh, exploit. So what we'll do is we'll just copy. You can also download. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just copy this exploit and make sure you copy all the exploit from there and what we'll do is go to accessories and just paste this one and you can see over here is the file name and what we'll do is we'll just copy and save this as in the root and make sure you remove all this so it does not support by a not exploit so what you need to do is you need to remove all the space over here and the file name would be rb extension for Ruby, so meta exploit so for that. Okay, so and for another one, mm, for Firefox, so copy this one and go to over here and paste, and we we'll go and see file name. Copy this one and save as. Uh, same file name so we need to remove all the space over here and so file name will be rb and in root so we have saved our two file over here mm, let me go to and you can see in here two file. So let me just go and check for launch MSF console and here search for D link. So what we go is uh, we can actually use a command line, but uh, we'll just go and use a graphical way so it will be more easy for you opt and meta exploit so file system opt meta exploit and apps pro and msf3 here it's a module so we we'll go to exploit and you can see you don't have any folder for dlink so let me create one folder for a dlink and name it as D-Link and let me go and see so here for D-Link you can see in auxiliary auxiliary on exploit so what we'll do is we'll just put in exploit so as I think this is the exploit file so it's a exploit remote so we put in an exploit and search for Firefox. Okay, here is my D link, and I just cut this one or copy this one to a my D link folder over here. Okay. So I just move this file over here 
uh, because the database is running that's why I cannot copy and for Firefox you can see an exploit multi browser exploit windows browser so we'll be going to use a exploit and windows uh, I think this one is for windows let me check over here windows so let me just go and put it in the windows folder and in browser so just move this file to over here to browser and uh, let me check if I am able to get the, my file over here so hopefully it will not get because the database has, has not been updated so if you cannot find we will just uh, exit and or relaunch the meta exploit so exploit this one is in here and one is in exploit for dealing so just close this one let me see whether I am able to be able to get our Firefox as we put in browser uh, I think uh, we are not able to get our exploit so what we'll do need to do is exit this one and rerun uh, console exit and console so it will take some time at that time pause so here we are back so let's just again search for uh, D-Link may take some time and here search for um, Firefox Mm, just wait a few minutes and see. Uh, let us see. Here, here is our exploit D link, and let us just try to use this one, whether we are successful or not. Let's paste this one, and so our exploit is working well, and. Well, same for Firefox. Let's just see where is our. Here is our Firefox. Okay. Over here is a space, so it's not working. You can see here is a space, so that's why it's not accepting. So let me just try to fix this one. Simple. Dashboard uh, and apps and post and here module exploit Windows browser and let me find for Firefox here. What do you name? So here you can see space. So well, I think we need to just again exit. So I think that's all. Uh, I think no need to exit it. And so I'll be back. So here we are back again. And uh, let me see our exploit is over here now you can see I've just uh, removed the space over there and let me use this exploit again so so here you can see the exploit is working quite well the next exploit developed to Firefox 21 uh, but I have updated my Firefox Twenty-three. So uh, this is how all you can um, use your custom exploit to import to uh, the 
metasploit database uh, that's all for this video thank you thank you for watching